Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel, guys. We are the Hernandez family. Come on, Hernandez family. Yeah, here you know. <laughs> so today is the 5th of December. And we were trying to start the family vlogmas videos for 30 days, but... Or no, was it 25 days? It's 25 days, right? Yeah, 25. For 25 days, but... We forgot it was the first. <laughs> yeah, we totally forgot about vlogmas. We were like, hmm. And then since we lag a lot when we're posting, I mean, we haven't been thinking about YouTube. We've been, like, talking about, um... Photography and all that stuff. Yeah. What we're gonna be doing. Yeah, like, photography, my, my job, um, raising Ethan. We see he's crazy left and right. <laughs> he's more active now. You don't, Very. you can't carry him because then he'll start moving around, grabbing things, and then wanting to dance. Here, go play. And eating hair, mister. You want to play with your choice? What? So, a lot's been going on. That's the end of that. Let's move on to today's video. So, what are we doing today? We're doing the, our, our very first time. So basically, no, we, we, I, I'd rather have well, you explain. I was like in the car one day and I was thinking about our first time kissing and how it was awkward AF. <laughs> but it was our cute. Our first picture. Yeah, and everything. So I was like, hmm, we should make a video about this, you know? And uh, talk about all our first times. So yeah, that's the, the idea. Especially because me and Chelsea really never had an intro video on YouTube. We actually just said like a quick, hey, this is where this and this and that, and that's it. I'm pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. Well, that is our video, huh? The pregnancy mm -hmm. video. That yeah. was our, hey guys, welcome back. So let's be, okay. Our fir your first time flirting with me. Through text, I've always tried flirting with Chelsea when we first got, I mean, not got together, but way before when we were already, like, friends. I would say, like, these little messages. F-boy messages. Yes. And that's why I was like, oh, heck no, that's not one to mess around with. Yeah, there was a message about condoms. That was one of the messages. I don't know if you remember that one. Yeah. Uh, I'm not mentioning no, my friend's no, name, but no. there's a friend. <laughs> I'm gonna explain this, because I'm the one that received it. You know, like... <laughs> So we were just talking, well he was talking about his friend, how he was, he gave like condoms to his friends. And he was talking about it so I was kind of awkward and I feel like he thought I was un not uncomfortable but like jealous or something. I don't know how he thought I was jealous but um, at the end of the messages he, um, he told me like don't worry, like I didn't use any of them, that's why I gave them to him and if anything, I saved one for myself if you want to try it or something like that. No, I saved one for myself to try it on you. I said that. Yeah. That was the very first flirt that I yeah. did with Chelsea. And I was like, and then I went to go tell my friends, you know. <laughs> um, and then the first time in person. Christmas, he gave me a, a little friendship <gasps> note. I did. A little friendship note with the rose. And like, the main points of that note Oh, I grew a little garden of flowers, which I later found out he didn't. And they all died except for this one, and I decided to give it to you. Or someone special, which is you, something like that. And then, um... Comes to turn out that I actually ran out of campus. <laughs> I saw that rose, and I was like, I'm gonna get it. <laughs> and I went, I literally walked out of campus, and we had a gate. And there was proctors around, and I was like, Real quick, real quick, and I think there was a proctor that saw me, and I was like, I just got the rose, <laughs> that's it, but. Yeah, and then um, at the bottom it said, oh, I really hope I can meet you, or like we can hang out during break, like winter break, and then hopefully I can meet my future suegra, and I was like, do your first rejection. What was my first rejection? Well, there was this week where, I don't know, we were, I think we were on break. I'm gonna give him baby. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know if we were on break or something, but you just asked me out, and you're like, oh, okay, then I don't. Oh, you're, you're right. Okay, so Chelsea, I was willing to. I mean, I was gonna ask her in January. Ask, yeah. I was gonna ask her out because I really liked her, and I did. I remember I was driving. I remember like I texted her. I was like, you know, like this and this and that. I really like you. Will you go out with me? And she's like, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm not, ready to I'm not ready to date. I see you more as a friend. Should I just spit? <laughs> I see you more as a friend. This and this and that. And then I was like, oh yeah. I got mad. I was really upset. I was like, okay. <laughs> Thank you. I, I don't think we can be friends. Because, you know, like if I like you, then, you know, it's, it's going to be hard. 
and you don't eat them. And you don't like me. And literally, what? That same day, I got back with my ex <laughs> just to get Chelsea mad. But I wasn't really thinking of it. But throughout the, I mean, throughout the week, literally, there was no communication with my ex. Like we would talk and all that, but it's just it was so awkward. And like I didn't really like her. I just was trying to get over Chelsea, but it didn't work because that's when my ex told me she. I don't know. Would you call what she broke up with me? Okay, well, she broke up with me because um, she noticed that I wasn't feeling it and that she was trying to be all lovey-dovey and I wasn't, like, you know, going for it. I was just leaving her on red. I was ignoring her messages. I was just spending time on my own. But, yeah. So I am back from giving you this bottle. And my side of the first breakup was... So I was like upset. We didn't talk that whole day because it would have been awkward AF. And then that afternoon, I see Snapchat. He posted on Snapchat before Instagram and he was around his ex. And then um, I was like, that's weird. They wouldn't hang out when we were talking. And then all of a sudden he's hanging out with his ex. They would talk and everything. Cause I mean, I didn't care at the moment because we weren't anything. And he started talking to his ex and I'm like, this is, this is an F boy. And then I just left it at that. I was like, maybe he he's a lonely guy without me. <laughs> and he can't he doesn't have any other friends. See, and then take it take it back. I'm sorry I cut you off. But Chelsea and I would literally text every single day, all day, nonstop. It all started with him asking for homework. And then I don't know, I don't I don't know where we became like really close. That afternoon mm -hmm. we were dry with each other. And then the next day was when he posted on Instagram, like, like hit her. She, I think she was sitting on his laps. No, she was on the couch. No, she was sitting on your lap on the quad. Oh, okay. This is what I have to recap. <laughs> I remember everything. She was sitting on his laps and I was like, oh heck no. He literally just asked me out and he's already with another girl. Like, this is F-boy. I'm so glad I dodged him. This, this, and that. And then after like three, the third day, he started texting me. And he was like, you know what? I mean, I miss you. And then this guy is sending me screenshots of all their conversations. And he's like, oh, this, this, and that. This, this, and that. And I was like, okay, cool. What, what do I care, you know? I think he was trying to get me jealous. After that, he started getting dry because he started paying more attention to me again. And then that's when um, she started noticing that she was being used because we would walk out of class. He'd spend literally all of after school, the little time that I had because I had to go straight to my mom. We'd be by the tree, we'd be talking, his girl would be like with her group of friends. And then it comes to a point where he's sending me texts again of her and him. And he's like, what should I do? And then she's breaking up with him because she's like, you know what, we're not the same. I feel like we should be friends and then like get together after we get to know each other again because we didn't talk much before this. And I don't want to rush into anything. And he's like, what should I do? And then I'm the type that if you have a crush on me and you move on, I get hurt even though I don't like you because, I mean, all the attention is supposed to be for me. So I was like, do what your heart wants. If you don't want to be with her and you're just using her, then that's, that's <laughs> effed up. <laughs> and um, he was like, you're right. And even though I knew he was going to let her break up with him, and he was like, you know what, you're right, okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, you're right. This yeah, like, it that. was a sentence or something, huh? Well, they were paragraphs, and then at the end, he just said the last sentence. Okay, so next, it would be our first hug. hug. I remember I was walking... No, we got out of Negretti's class. And then I said, okay, bye, and I hugged you. No. Oh, oh okay. I know because um, I just said bye. And I didn't even talk to you the first day of school that much. The way I remember our first hug, and I know this was our first hug, because I was like, holy shit, this is the first time that... I get hugged from a guy and then I feel like it was a week into our friendship and um, we were walking this one we dropped her off he hugged her and then um, he looks at me and then he was like can I hug you and I was like okay <laughs> and he goes on for a full bear hug and then I remember being like oh my god I never let myself get touched by guys <laughs> you're right our first um, Meet up. friend date outside of school that was our first time actually like meeting up 
outside of school. I had butterflies the whole time. There is this festival that comes around in Ontario. It's called the Lemon Festival. It's Upland. Um, the Lemon Festival. Usually they have like rides. They have like little areas to go eat. This and this and that. And the Lemon Festival was like one of the most like popular things you can say in at Chafee. In Chafee because yeah. a lot of people from Chafee would go there that's just to go hang out. Would go yeah. On friends. That's like our little fair until the real fair comes in. But yeah. And then he's arriving. He's like, I'm here. I'm on I'm on the Ferris wheel with my cousin. So I'm like up here and I look down and I see Edgar and his friends and I'm like, oh my god, he's right here. And I had to tell my mom that I was going with the girls that like they were my friends and that I wasn't going that with Edgar we could have hanged out then she would have been like hmm like no yeah but I was like no I know his uh I know them but I mean he just happens to be there and it, it was like planned to be with us and I was like can I go and then she was like I don't know and I was like please and then she's like fine so um she, my parents are like they are staring so I had to go hug his female friends first and then um I was waiting for my hug. I was like, why didn't you hug me first? And then I didn't hug him. I don't think you I didn't hug him. And I was like, then you're like, my parents were there. And I was like, oh. <laughs> our first date. No. No, first Our date. first, yes. So, yeah. um, so our first, yes. Edgar asked me out again, multiple times. And they kept saying no. And I was like, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. Came May 18, 2016. Yes. We were planning in classroom, like, oh, I'm bored, I mean, we're not doing anything, can we meet up at, um, outside? And then he was like, yeah, sure. And it's so weird of me to, like, leave class. So I left class, and then he left class, and I was so paranoid the whole time. We were talking, and I was like, so, you know how, like, you were asking me out all these times and everything? He was like, yeah. And then I was like... Well, I have an answer already. And then he's like, what is it? And I was like, yes. <laughs> he's like, really? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, I don't know. What happened between there and the kids? I don't know. We were talking about like, are you sure? Oh, no, I said, are you sure? And you were like, yeah, I'm sure. I'm like, are you playing with me? And you're like, no, I'm not. I'm serious. And I was like, I was like, can I get a kiss? And you were like, what did you say? I was like, no. <laughs> but this kid stole my first kiss. And then, um... I know. I think we should reenact it. <laughs> Come here. No. Literally, I was just fidgety because, like, it's so mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm not doing it if you don't do it right. Okay. <laughs> I believe you were a bad kisser. It was literally like that. Like, I didn't let it go past the peck. He wanted for more, but I was like, I wasn't ready for more. And yeah, that was her fifth kiss. Get your butt off my face. <laughs> <You're> like, <"Hello." laughs> Ciao. I'm assuming it's have like seductive music. Now. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see how slow that was? Down. Fuck you were you. such a good baby. Bubba. Our very first date after we were together was at the movie theater. You. With it was my birthday. Uh huh. At the mall. Oh. Uh, I had to make up that whole day too because my parents didn't know we were dating until I came back from my trip in Mexico, which which was in July. We go to the mall, and then I told my mom I was going with Lavonia and Chelsea, which I did, and I took pictures with. Spru. There's proof. <laughs> I'm like, there's proof, but there was but, someone else included. Yeah, Edgar was with us, and then like Edgar and I were together, and Lavonia and Chelsea were hanging out, but like we were all hanging out, huh? Yeah. There was nothing bad, but yeah. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna end it off. So we're for sure gonna have to do a second part. If you guys really like it, like this video below. Subscribe to this, guys. We're almost at 10k too. We're, that, we're close to 10k. <laughs> but stay tuned um, because there's, there's so many things of, coming up. There's a, a video from Jubilee coming up for the Teen Dads. There is something, a big surprise on the 25th. There is a talk about our next trip. Say hi. Hey, camera's Say right there. Hi. hi. Yay. Hi. Yeah. Oh, and then another thing, Ethan fell off the bed <gasps> for the say first that. time. Ethan, how did you fall? No, <laughs> don't say that. Then they're gonna be like, "Well, it's your fault for not putting him in the crib." Like, Ow. comment, I got, subscribe. Ah! <laughs>